The king and his men stole the queen from her bed and bound her in her bones. The seas be ours and by the powers where we will we Bass Singers of TikTok. Looks like that's the name of the group. Two, four, six, eight. Basses coming together. And I just discovered this and thought it was so cool. So I thought I'd share it with you. Yes! I love him so much! Cool voice, again connected, but much more breath flowing. Don't want a mic stand just hanging around. I keep me where the light is. Yeah. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time, a special welcome to you. Please take a second to subscribe. It's free and it really helps the channel. Uh, and if you're a regular viewer, I just want to apologize that last week there was no content released on my channel. You might have become used to me releasing three times a week, which is what I've been doing for a long time. But um, I was quite sick and I was in bed all week and I'm still not 100%, but I just had to get back into this with you. So I am a fan of, like many millions of people, fan of bass singers who explore that super low part of their range you know and develop that subharmonic way of singing freaking f sharp ones like in the last chord here so this sort of seems to be an f sharp minor um and also there's been this fascination in recent years with like you know the willerman type songs um sea shanties and stuff like that there's something about the ancientness, <laughs> that's not a word, you know, something ancient about those kinds of melodies that connect with people, um, which is so interesting. So yeah, solo voice starting, first verse, and then the others join. Um, and I, now I think we're going to see different other singers take the lead here and there. So let's keep, let's keep going. Now some have died and some are alive And others sail on the sea With the keys to the cage and the devil to pay We lay to fiddler's green Okay, wow. So when he started, he looks younger. Maybe he's just one of those guys who look young, but he looks younger. Um, when he started, I was like, okay, they are all clearly basses. But there are still differences in in the tone, in the color of their voice. So this guy seemed slightly lighter, slightly lighter bass voice. The way he sang in that range was more like that, not like that, like really bassy. Um, but then he also went to the low F sharp one. Same skill. Wow. Yo ho, all hands, hoist the colors high. Thieves 
Somebody singing, he ho, thieves and beggars. <coughs> Somebody, one or two of them, I don't know, is doubling the melody up the octave, which just gives it harmonically, as a soundscape, gives it a sort of rounds it off, gives it a beautiful sound. The chord, you know, not just the low, but also the octave up. Yo -ho, ho together hoist the colors high ah. wow. he ho thieves and beggars never shall we die wow some really interesting um chords Mainly caused by one note, which... What was that note? It was almost like a major seventh or something. But somebody sang a little bit higher like that. Um, nice. Interesting. It just makes it a little bit interesting because this kind of song and this kind of presentation of this kind of music um, is pretty predictable because it's like folk music. You can't do too much different. It pretty much is what it is. Um, it's like that Savage Daughter song that I also did an analysis on. You should check it out on my channel. Um, you know, the style of that sort of Celtic, sort of folksy, it's pretty much repeats itself. So it's interesting how they just add it. One note, maybe there were two, but one was prominent, <coughs> excuse me, to that chord that made it interesting, draws me in. The bell has been raised from its watery grave. Do you hear its sepulchral tone? We call <laughs> okay, so now we know at least about at least one of the eight that has that. That's what we call in, in Western art music, in opera, basso profundo. He just, profound bass, that's what that means, right? He sings everything in the lower octave between F sharp one and two. But it's, it's very dark. He doesn't have to make it dark as much as some of the others who, who can do it very skillfully. It just is very, very dark, the sound. Oh, gosh. Something about those low frequencies. That sort of hits you in the chest, you know? There's actually science that backs up that low frequencies, I think frequencies below 55 hertz or something, um, they actually use in in hospitals to treat certain diseases because that frequency sending that frequency through somebody's body has a healing effect how how incredible is that so there's something about super low bass that's not just oh that's cool but it actually sort of yeah hmm. Yo.
sure. I literally have goosebumps. The effect of that sound. Wow, that's really cool. And then somebody sang. One, two, three, four, F sharp, four. Thin and beggars. The G sharp, five. Somebody sang that full voice, like tenery vibe, right? And I often say this, but it's true. It doesn't matter what your voice type. You can develop the skill muscularly to sing quite high and quite low. Whether you're a, a dark voice, which naturally sounds beautiful low, a middle voice or a high voice, a light voice that naturally sounds beautiful high. You can learn to sing high and low and in the middle. So that was really, really cool. I just, I just enjoyed listening to that. It just, it's one of those things where you just want to sit and just let the sound wash over you. Um, I want to encourage you, if you enjoy this kind of music, go and check these guys out. And, and I want to encourage you to listen with headphones, over ear headphones that, you know, shuts out other noise. So you can really hear all the sound. Obviously it's studio, so they mixed it exactly how they wanted it and nothing wrong with that. But um, yeah, I think it's cool. Go and check them out. Thank you for spending the time with me. I appreciate it. I look forward to having your company again soon. And until then, I want you to remember that your voice matters.